Hello, hello, all of you beautiful people. It is Jolene here from Vis Vinyl Cutters. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button because we have loads of videos and tutorials all ready to go that you can watch very soon on YouTube. So today we are looking at one of the most frustrating things that happens in Cricut Design Space. Guys, I'm talking about those incredibly wacky spaces that happens in your text when you use fonts that are installed on your system. So Cricut Design Space was never designed to be a font reader and it's not particularly that great at it. Now, fortunately, Cricut has made it possible for us to change things with the fonts and we can make it work. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So let me just very quickly write out a word here. So this font automatically that comes up is a Cricut based one. So our spacing and everything looks perfectly fine. But what happens when we go up to font and we pick something that we downloaded on the internet? So I just found this beautiful font. It's called Valerie. It's not a free font, but I really like it. And this is exactly what I mean. So this is supposed to be a script font. It's supposed to be attached and it's supposed to be flowing. But yet we have really wacky spaces in between our letters. I mean, have a look at this whopping big space in between the T and the H. It doesn't even necessarily look like these are two words. So you can change this in Cricut Design Space. And I will show you how to do that. But before we do that, I want to show you the hack that I have so that you guys can compare this to the other one. I'm just going to get rid of these grids so that you can see that a bit better. So what I want you to do is to go to good old Google. And in here, we're going to type in Font Lab Pad. Now, Font Lab Pad is just a little app that we can install on our system, whether it's a Mac or a PC, and it can read fonts the way that it was meant to be, um, the way that the designer meant it to be. So all you have to do to grab this, it's totally free, guys, is simply to enter your email address in this box and to grab the link, and they will send you the download link which you need to install. Now, I've already um, installed it and downloaded it so that you guys don't have to watch me doing that. So here it is. So this is Font Lab Pro, um, Font Lab Pad, sorry. And what we need to do with this box is to find our fonts. And now for some of you guys who haven't been keeping your font files, this might be a bit frustrating and maybe something you can do in the future. Because if you're like me, I used to install these fonts and then instantly delete them, which won't help you with Font Lab Pad. So we all know that to install a font, we can double click on that. I'm on a PC and I simply click on install and it's going to install it to my system. Now, what we want to do though with Font Lab Pad is to actually, and I need to find the same font as we have on Cricut Design Space. So what we need to do is to click and drag and drop it into this box. So see how we have something there? And now I'm going to write the same word as I have on Cricut Design Space. And have a look at that, guys. It actually writes it attached. It's beautifully connected. Whoops, sorry. Let's try and make the box bigger. It's beautifully connected and it looks brilliant. Doesn't that look beautiful? That is so beautiful. So what we can do from here is to actually save it as an SVG file, which makes it a picture, essentially. It becomes an image. And then we can upload it to Cricut Design Space. Important to note though, if you do this, you can't go and change this in Cricut Design Space. So if you change your mind and you want to write something different, you need to come back to Font Lab Pad and actually remake it. So we've got Hello there. The very first thing I like to do is just to enlarge it in size. I prefer to have a too big SVG file rather than one that is teeny tiny. So I just use this dragger to drag it and make it bigger. And you simply go to File, Save As, and I'm just going to save it as Hello there so that I know exactly what I'm looking for. Now we go back to Cricut, and you go and you upload as if this is an image. And you go Upload Image, and we grab that SVG file that we just made, which is this one here, and we open. And there we go. So I click Save, and then I pop it in. And instead of having to fiddle endlessly with a font and fixing up really weird spaces, 
I now have, let me make them the same size, maybe we can compare them. I now have the font exactly the way that the designer intended it to look. Now that's a very, very big difference, isn't it? So here we go with the SVG file. We do still have the ability to ungroup this. So if you click on this ungroup, it will still make your letters individual, okay? So if you decide, I don't want this anymore, you can still highlight that and click on these eyes or delete it to get rid of it. Oops, those are with the long, wrong letters, but you get what I mean, right? But to be quite honest, once I have this made, I don't really need to fiddle with it because it's pretty, pretty perfect the way that it is, right? Now, with this one, let's backtrack a bit. Let's say that you really don't want to install anything on your system. I highly recommend this, but let's say you really don't want to and you want to stay in Picket Design Space. What you would need to do is to reduce your letter spacing. So that's where I start and I generally make it zero to see what happens. So see how it's instantly made things just that little bit closer together? Now we can try our best to try and connect it this way, but as you can see, even though I've managed to connect the L's, I still have a massive um, problem here with the T and the H, and now the exclamation mark has gone right up to the edge. So to fix that, I go to ungroup over here so that we can have access to each individual letter. So now I can click on one letter and I can drag it wherever I wish. So I can um, pop that into place. I can make sure that my things are connected. Let's move this exclamation mark away a bit. Maybe a bit closer. Right. And once you're happy with the placement of everything and it looks like everything is nicely connected, you can click and drag a box around everything and click on this weld button. And welding is basically gluing things that are touching together. So it's going to glue all of these touching letters together and get rid of excess lines that we essentially don't want the maker or the explorer air or the joy to see. But this is why I don't like working in here because very often we get this problem where letters fill in like this and that is not what we want. Now this can happen and typically it happens because your letters weren't exactly in the right place. So this program thought that this whole section needs to be colored in because the E, potentially the line of the R and the E went in too close together. So now the frustration starts, guys. And you have to question yourself, and I see this question so often on groups, why is this happening? And what we need to do is essentially to unwell this. So you need to undo. And what I like to do is to make this as big as I can. Let's hide this away for a minute. And now we can try and I have hold on one second because we need to unwell this. There we go, that's better. Um, so let's make this big. Let's hide this one. Okay. So now what we need to do is to move those letters that were the issue um, and see if we can fix it. So see how, I don't know if you guys could see that, but see how if I really zoom in, this H was extending just that smidge into the E and that's why the system thought that it needed to attach those two things together, okay? So what we need to do from here is to fix those issues. But when it's small, whoops, I missed the, the um, exclamation mark, didn't I? But when it's small, you don't always notice things like that very easily, right? So what we need to do is to actually enlarge this a bit, and then we can move the letters that were a problem. The H and the E was a problem, so let's split those up a little bit. And then over here, we had an issue with those ones. So let me just see. And now that we've moved them, we can try and weld it together again and see if we fix the problem. Voila. But sometimes I can promise you guys it's not as easy as that and it might take quite a few goes to weld, unweld, move around, weld, unweld, move around. And honestly, it's I just don't have the time for that. 
So this is how I like to work with my words, my text, especially when you're doing something simple and not too complicated or tricky. And this is why. If we go back to the font lab, I'll show you guys a few other tips and tricks. A, what I really, really love about the font lab as well is if I don't like this font, right? Let's make it a bit small so we can see it easier. If I don't like this font, instead of having to go with this one and go up and um, I might have to write a new word because I've just welded that one together. But instead of doing this, you say, oh, I don't like that font. Let's go up here and let's see if we can find something else. And holy moly, if you're like me, you're going to be scrolling forever because, guys, I have a hell of a lot of different fonts on here. And it's really hard to pick something. And it's time consuming because when you click on this, you've got to wait for this to load and change. And it's a process. So let's see if we go to Font Lab. I'll show you guys how easy this is. All you have to do is to click and drag your other folders in here. So if you were like, oh, I want to see what this one looks like, boom, done. Because I want to show you guys if we make this a bit more complicated. So let's write something else that's a bit longer than just one line. One line is a bit beautiful to work with here. But if I want to write something like, I love you to the moon and back. Okay, so we've just wanting to do three lines now. It gets a little bit more involved on Font Lab, okay? Because as you can see, it's got quite big spaces in between the letters. And we can fix this, and I will show you guys how to do that in a minute. But let me just see if I can find a font that I like. I actually really don't mind this one. Uh, let me see. Find any other ones that's nice. I don't know, my computer is going so slow. So you can click and drag. So um, we can click and drag different types of fonts to try them out. So drag this one on there, boom, done. Don't like it. Drag this one on, <gasps> don't like that one at all. Uh, let's try Moonwalker. Nope. So you can very easily play with your text. Can you see how easy this is? It's so much easier than doing it the other way, if you ask me. That's really cool. I like that. Um, I might stick with that. Classy alt. So let me just try. Nope. Okay, that's cool too. All right, so what I will do, Bella Vista. Uh, what I want to show you guys is this. All right, let's say I pick this one. Okay, and A, I would like to center this. I don't want to have it all aligned on the left. Generally, that's not how we create SVG files, right? So you have a few different options and you can do that by clicking on this A button up here. So when you click on this, I can choose to center my text. So instantly that already looks a lot better. And then what we can do is to fix this line spacing. So if you want to have it closer together, this button here moves lines closer together and this button moves letters closer together. My letters are perfect. I don't need to touch that, but I do want to fix my lines and I want to make them smaller. So I'm going to pick a negative number and it's lost some of my words for some reason, but anyway, let's pop it back in there. And that's not bad, okay? That might be just a tiny smidge too close though. So what I can do, and see how it only has 10, 25, 50? You can type in here. So I actually want 20, that's a lot better. And now the rest of us can't come back up, it just disappeared, did it? And there, I like that, that's pretty cool now. So again, now what I can do is to enlarge this and save it as an SVG file and take it over to Cricut, okay? All right, guys, but obviously when you want to start doing other sorts of things, um, Font Lab Pro is meant to be a very quick solution to very simple things. It is not going to be able to curve your text, for example. 
So once we've made our SVG file, we don't have the ability to curve it there anymore. So if we type text directly into Cricut Design Space, we do have the ability to curve text from there, okay? So if you wanna get fancy with other sorts of things, then you probably need to use something different like Inkspace or potentially just play with Cricut Design Space in order to be able to achieve that. But I really hope that you guys have picked up a really clever way of very quickly playing with your fonts and your text and how to get rid of that very frustrating spacing in, of your, in your letters so that it can get back to being more fun because it is not fun to be frustrated. I hate it, it puts me off creating, but if I can simply make something super quick and upload it and it's done, hell yeah, give me that instead. So don't forget to subscribe if you loved our tutorial today because we have plenty more coming your way and happy crafting and I will see you guys soon. Ciao for now.